What is going on guys? Grape here. Welcome back to Marvel's Avengers and today I'd like to talk about the gear stats uh, and kind of how they work and just kind of explain them a little bit because there, there's a lot of different terminology and things here kind of going on. As you can see you have melee, ranged, heroic, and defensive ratings but these kind of break down into different subcategories uh, like might, valor, proficiency, resilience, resolve, uh, intensity, uh, precision, that kind of thing. And how you get these ratings here in each of these uh, different sections is by what gear you have equipped. So kind of for example here, you can see the piece that I have on my hands, kind of like a pair of gloves, has proficiency and resolve. The next piece of gear here is going to have resolve and resilience. The next piece is going to have might and resilience. And the next piece is going to have might and proficiency. Now depending on what kind of play style you want to have, if you want to be more damaged, if you want to be more defensive, if you want more ranged abilities, you're going to have to find gear pieces that kind of go with that idea. So when you get kind of into the game later on, not really necessarily during the story, but when you get more into the end game, when you get into the part after you've beaten the story, you're go out, going out doing missions, uh, trying to level up, that kind of thing, that's where you're really going to need to start paying attention to what gear you have and exactly what it brings to all of these different ratings. Now keep in mind, if you are new to the game, uh, there's different types of gear in game, uh, of different rarities. Of course, there's common, uncommon, rare, epic, and legendary. And as you can see here, uh, this uh, legendary piece I have on has three gear perks, where the, you know, the purple gear piece or the epic gear piece here has uh, only two perks. I don't have any blue gear left. I do have a green piece here in my inventory that I picked up. You can see it has no perks. So all of this stuff together is going to kind of add up to what exactly you're wanting to create uh, for your character or your hero. What kind of build you want to have. Now also keep in mind if you are new to the game, there's two different levels here you're going to see on your player card. There's going to be a level 24, of course, for my Captain, Captain America here and power level 49. Each individual character can go to a level 50 and a power level as of right now of 150. So just know all of this stuff here is going to add up to your power level and your stats. Now when it comes to the stats here, just kind of the ratings individually, if you look at melee rating, this is going to be your might, your valor, and your proficiency. Uh, of course, your might is going to be your melee damage and your ultimate hero charge rate or your heroic charge rate. Your valor is going to be your heroic effectiveness and your critical damage. And the proficiency here in the melee rating is going to be critical chance and perk chance. Now, as you can see, if you look at the melee rating and the range rating, you have some of the same style stats here. You're going to have precision, which of course is not in the melee rating section, but that's going to be range damage and uh, assault heroic charge rate. You're going to have valor, which is going to be heroic effectiveness and critical damage. And you're going to have proficiency, which is critical chance and perk chance. So like I said, between the melee rating and the range rating, you're still seeing things you know, like valor. You're going to see a lot of these same stats in each individual rating. Now, when it comes to defensive ratings, you're going to have resilience and resolve. Resilience is going to be armor and support heroic charge rate. Resolve is going to be your max willpower, which is your max health, and willpower recovery effectiveness, which is going to be you know, pretty much just your health recovery. Uh, now, when it comes to heroic rating itself, this is going to be armor uh, support in the resilience part, which is going to kind of, once again, just go how much armor your character has on and there's a lot of as you can see support, uh, support heroic charge rates that's just going to be kind of charging some of the different abilities you have available for your character when it comes to valor of course you're going to have heroic effectiveness and critical damage and intensity is going to be the stun status meter damage and the status resistance now your stun status meter is the meter that is underneath your health bar when you're playing in game so just keep that in mind when that's full you can, you're able to do more powerful stuns or more powerful damage when that meter is filled up. But like I said, just kind of want to let you guys know some of this terminology because it is a bit confusing to begin with. It doesn't really explain a lot of this uh, in-game. In but all of these things here are going to be affected by pretty much what gear you do have equipped. So just keep in mind when you're building a character, if you want to have... I'm trying to go for more melee damage here with Captain America. Of course, I have not got really deep into the game yet in, in the co-op part, uh, in the kind of open world part where you're playing all the different missions, kind of doing you know all the different things in game. I'm going for more of a melee rating. I do have a little bit too much ranged rating in my opinion, but I do like it because it's, you know, Captain America can throw his shield and knock down turrets and, and things like that. But you're just going to want to 
find gear that's going to allow you to get the ratings here that you want. So when you get deeper into the game, like I said, after the single player, just make sure that you're paying attention to each individual gear piece that you're picking up and, try, and trying to find pieces that's going to fit what exactly you're building. Like if you wanted to have a incredible, you know, defensive build with Hulk, you could definitely do that with some of the defensive rating pieces you could get in game. But you're always going to want to be looking at the gear pieces, seeing if they're resilience, resolve, might, valor, proficiency, uh, precision, uh, of course, things like intensity. You're wanting to look at each individual piece and see what it brings to your character so you know exactly what you can build once you get to end game. Anyway, guys, I hope this helped you out a little bit. And of course, if you'd like to hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And be sure to check out everything down in the description. GT Racing, the community Discord, and my Twitter. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.